little bit more. Jeez. Oh. All right, it's, it's Tuesday morning and um, I've got a package here. Uh, it's super early. Uh, you know, I tend to do this pretty often where I wake up like at like 4 a.m. just cocking at me scheming about stuff, about dreaming big, which I, I normally do. So I've got the new, uh, I got the keys to my new uh, garage facility. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. I need to call it something just to refer to it, but my, I've always been calling it my garage condo. I guess it's not really a condo, but it doesn't have anywhere to sleep. Um, but it has a little office and bathroom and a, you know, 1,250 square feet of, of awesome. And so the trailer, since I got back from the GT3 trip uh, three weeks ago, the trailer's been sitting outside. Uh, we, I knew we were, gonna, we were painting the, the wash bay, so I just left it out there. Uh, plus, I wanted to get, figure out the winch, figure out the battery, figure out the lights. So I think I've got that all, all dialed in because the lights weren't working. And so now uh, I wanted to uh, wanted to have a way to sort of move move the trailer around. And in my normal fashion, uh, I started searching and researching, trying to figure out what's a really good option for uh, not only fixing the winch um, but uh, getting a trailer dolly. And this is just like many things, like you just you go on to try to buy one, like, okay, I want to buy a trailer dolly. And uh, so I assume you're going to be a couple hundred bucks, uh, get a dolly that's much like a, um, you know, that's much like a, you know, like a furniture dolly or a, you know, a hand truck uh, and only for a trailer. And, you know, I can I understand that that you know my trailer's a little heavy for that, but I figured, you know, I'll just muscle it. I'm muscling it now on this little, plastic wheel uh, and so I started searching trailer doll just google it you know checking on Amazon and what I come to find is it doesn't really exist or so I thought there's just no information on this kind of stuff uh, and so I uh, you know frustrated as normal um, I you know searched some more and started searching forums and just just looking around uh, and I stumbled upon this company called Park 360 uh, at least I think that's the company's name, but they they make this incredible looking um, um, electric driven motorized trailer dolly. The only problem is it's really expensive. You know the the you know they start at like eleven hundred dollars. I'm like shit, I'm not interested in that. So I closed the site, and then I went and searched some more. I'm like, there's got to be something that that will work with my trailer and. There are tons of different dollies available, but they're all for like a like a boat trailer, a boat trailer that weigh with you know, an unloaded boat trailer, uh, not a two thousand pound um, uh, enclosed you know uh, system. And so I started searching more and searching more and searching more, and I kept coming back to this Park Three Hundred and Sixty. And so I decided, you know what, um, I'm going to call these guys and get out of here. I'm going to call these guys and see what the deal is, or email them. So I filled out the form on their site, and then I forgot about it. Uh, and literally, like, within a day. So I, I do this occasionally where I'll type up a little, hey, I'd like to introduce myself. Here's what, you know, my YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm always looking for products. I have a knack for, you know, explaining how these things work and, and making decisions, you know, based on, on his, you know, significant amount of research and blah, blah, blah. And so they emailed me back and said, "Hey, we've watched some of your some of your videos before. Oh, cool. Um, let's let's figure out how to get you one of these things." So I got one. So I want to unbox it. The reason why I'm doing it this morning before I go in the office is like and it's like 6 a.m. outside, 6:15 a.m. Uh, the reason why I want to get this open, I need to figure out what I need because I'm leaving for the trip to Memphis for the OptiCoat training or the OptiCoat you know, detailing seminar uh, that I'm going to uh, on, as so I'm leaving on Thursday night. Uh, so I want to get the trailer, 
I want to get this thing figured out because I don't want to roll the trailer into the new place because the wheel scratches everything up. And so I want to get this thing figured out. I think I need to go get a battery for it. So I wanted to get this open, get it fig figured out what I need to make it work. So this model is the Park 360 10K. We'll get into more specs when I'm using it. Uh, but this one's designed to move um, you know, 10,000 pounds. Wow. I was wondering how this thing was going to be packed. This is cool. So this is designed to move 10,000 pounds. Uh, and we, so we went a little overkill with it. Um, the 5K model would have been fine for my 2,000, you know, for my 2,000 uh, pound trailer. Um, but I wanted this system to work with in case I had a car in it. Because uh, shoot, what I might do is just leave it, leave the darn car or put a car in the trailer. Sometimes when it's in the uh, when it's in the the new garage condo. Cool. So the idea is the thing is motorized. So I think all I'm gonna need is a battery. One. So, you know, again, the, and I'll, I'll show a video later on. So there's our 2 and 5 16 ball, which is the size my trailer has. So, you know, the, the, again, the main reason why I won, wanted this thing, other than just for sheer convenience, so we go online to get the owner's manual. That's smart. Assuming I even need an owner's manual. But you know, trying to push the darn trailer around, that little plastic wheel eventually is going to break, I'm sure, as, as aggressively as I've been pressing it, pushing it around. But you know, I don't want to scratch up the floor and the, the concrete around both my house and the, you know, the new garage. That's pretty darn stout looking. All right, so let's see if we can't figure out how to put this thing together without going to get the instructions. First, open up our battery box. So I got the battery box op option. You know, this has the option to pull from the trailer, you know, so you can use the, the onboard power of your trailer or we can have power, you know, coming directly to this, which is obviously what I chose. So we'll have our own onboard battery. It's going to sit on board here. Oh, there's like little feet on here to keep it from sliding around. All right, so our handle will go in here. What's this rod for? Slides directly in. So we have white and black, which will connect to the battery, I'm sure. We got a reset and a breaker. So this would be our charging power in order to trickle charge the, the battery that we'll put on board. And these two connect here. So this is our 
connection for our handle. I'm going to go get the instructions just to make sure I'm doing this all correctly. All right, so I wanted to get my facts straight here before we got too far into the video. You know, just took it out of the box, and so um, I wanted to you know, grab the manual, make sure I'm doing this right, make sure I understood everything. Uh, so let's, before I even get into that, let's talk about the, you know, the difference in the models. And so you go to park360.com, and we have three different models. So there's the 5K, the 10K, the 15K. And so the 15K is for moving 15,000 pounds. It doesn't really apply to, to, to our video here. So it wasn't even really part of the consideration for me. I wasn't, that, that just seemed like uh, something, you know, I certainly didn't need because even loaded my trailer is going to be, even with the GT350, is going to be less than 6,000 pounds. So, um, and, and most of the time I'm just going to be moving the trailer unloaded, which is only a, around 2,000, slightly less than 2,000 pounds. So we have the, the two to consider would be the 5K and the 10K. And of course the difference is the 5K will, is designed for 5,000 pound capacity. The 10K is for 10,000 pounds. And the price difference is a couple hundred bucks, not quite a couple hundred dollars. The, the 5K, the base price for just the base unit, which I don't have the base unit. Um, I have actually the third tier unit. Uh, the, 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 the base price is $1,096 versus the, the 10K, which is $1,342. And so, and I think that, that includes shipping as well, so which, is, which is nice because the thing probably costs you know, several hundred dollars to ship. It's coming from Canada. All right, so, so I have the 10K, and, and, and so the way that they break this out, and this was confusing, I had to spend a little time you know, figuring, figuring out the, the differences here. So hopefully this will be helpful to you if you're interested in buying one of these things. But you have the base unit, which is B, and then you have option one, which is B2, and then option two, which is, which is B3. Right, so so the base unit is the you know on the 10K is is like the is the re, has the regular tires which I don't I have the wider track tires. You get your ball mount. And you can select which size. I have two a two and five sixteenths inch ball, uh, and then you have um, a, an eighty inch trailer connection cable. So that's this cable here, which I don't think I'm going to need. And this is one of the questions I'll have to ask the guys. Uh, so I'll find that out today. So in the, the, the video of me, you know, using it, installing it, uh, we'll see how this goes if I make it in two videos or, and, or one. Uh, but the, this would then connect to my trailer's battery. So my trailer has a battery. But I don't think I'm going to need this because um, I have the battery option. So I'm going to go get a, a 24-volt 20, uh, 24 or a 12-volt 24-amp deep cycle battery. Uh, so I don't think I need this. The only thing that might be neat with this is let's say that I keep it connected to the trailer. Um, will the battery charger, the onboard charger on the unit, will that charge the battery for the trailer as well? That I'm not sure. So that, that, that's one thing I'll have to figure out. So that's the 80 inch trailer connection cable that comes with the base unit. So again, base unit is the unit with the regular tires uh, and the, uh, the, the, the battery connection to use the battery on board on your trailer uh, and, then, and then the ball mount. So option two has all of that, but it includes the, the brake controller. And I'll show you that here in a minute, but it has the thing where you plug your, your trailer's you know, cable that you would normally plug into the back of the car, plugs right into the top of the unit. So the B2, to, to go and add the B2 option is uh, another 230 bucks. So that's $1,570 uh, for, for it. So we get the we get the brake controller. Still, it doesn't include a battery, but adds the battery box, and then adds the battery charger. So for a couple hundred dollars, I think that's a pretty significant difference. You can then um, use the the brakes, the the, the trailer brakes, uh, and and so if you're on a slight decline or something, when you're, you know, when you release the the unit, um, it, the brakes engage, right? So you won't have the thing rolling around on you. Uh, so, so again, B2, so, so the base model, uh, when, you, when you go up to the B2, you add the brake controller, you add the battery box, and then you add the battery charger. It's built in, the battery tender. And then B3, so B3 includes all of that. Um, you have the, yeah, the, the 80 inch, the battery. So, so the B3 adds the wider track tires, right? So, 
um, you, you put the bigger, heftier tires, which is what I have, uh, which are better for if you have any kind of incline or decline or you're doing, you're doing anything on grass. And so to add those bigger, the, the six inch wide tires, um, I don't have a telescopic frame, um, so I don't need that adapter. Um, but so we're at 1730. And so, you know, the difference between that and the base model, it's 1340. So does that, you know, a little less than $300 difference for the built-in charger, the wider tires, the, um, uh, the battery or the battery box, and then the built-in charger. Shoot, the, the built-in charger for me is worth it. Um, even though I could have used the onboard battery on my trailer, um, I like the idea of having this. And it'll just be a question of whether or not I can connect this to my trailer battery and have them both you know, charged at the same time. I don't know. I don't know how that that'll work. That would be a neat option. I think I remember him saying something about that, but I'm not sure. So I'll clarify that before we wrap up the video. I'll clarify that today. So let's get the thing put together. I'm not going to put the battery box on because I'm going to go to the store and get a battery. Oh, another thing I was reading about, uh, which is important, uh, is the see the weld spots here. So the welds have to go in a certain way. You don't want the welds to uh, to be in contact with the edge of the the trailer. So when we you know when we put this on, you want to make sure that these two little balls or the the weld spots aren't you know aren't, you know, aren't getting hung up on the on on the hitch. Uh, so this just sits in place. Okay, so that's in place. And then we have, so, so you know, the box, I'm not gonna put the box on yet because I'm going to take this with me. Uh, so we need a group 24 sized um, um, uh, 12 volt deep cycle battery. So I'm gonna take this box with me to advance auto and just get a battery. I mean, batteries are pretty standard size, but I'm gonna take that with me. So here's our trailer connection here. Um, this is our battery tender power cable. So we'll I'll have some I'll create some sort of little zip tie solution here. And um, here's our connection for our controller. So this is like a tri connection or three prong connection. So let's get this plugged in and it seals up. There's a rubber grommet on here too. So this then is threaded, screws in place. Keep it from protected from the elements. That's super clean. We got all our parts here. So this will be for our battery. So when the battery, when I get the battery tonight, super clean. Wow, that's nice. And then this would be for our charger, right? So we'll put both of these on. So this is our power. So the unit, you know, for for moving. And then this one would be for our battery tender. So they'll both go on top of the battery. And then, of course, this is our, our tender, our battery tender plug. And then here's our trailer connection. So there's a hex tightener on each side. And then we're going to put these are for our tightening bar. So this bar is for putting in like so to tighten the a trailer. We'll talk about that more when we use it. And so these little clips are so that you can take it along with you. So these are Eight millimeter, yep, eight millimeter bolts. Screw, screws. 
Okay. So then this clips in so you have it when you need it. Awesome. So our battery tender light is here. Alright, so on the side right here, this is our free wielding. So, so notice, you know, the wheels are locked. And so when we pull this out, pull it out and turn it. Now notice the wheels move. So as soon as you connect it to the trailer, you want to make sure you pop it in place. Awesome. All right, so I'll get a battery, and then maybe tonight we'll work on it. All right, let's get the battery ready to go. So this is a M24 thousand cranking amps. Uh, just a cheapo, just an auto craft battery from um, Advance Auto. But I wanted to clean it up here. It's kind of got some funky crap on it. I also need to get this strap off of here. So we're going to do an exercise, I think. I dreamt this up last night. I'm going to attempt to move the trailer from one spot to another. So maybe I'll put some painter's tape on the ground and then, you know, without the dolly. And then I'm going to do it with the dolly. And we'll see how much harder or how much easier it is. Of course, we got to debadge our box here. You know, if I was a battery box manufacturer, I would ensure that I put a proper sticker on my box so that when I removed the sticker, it wouldn't leave a whole mess on it. But that's just me. What do I know? Now I gotta get... I don't know about my old 3M adhesive remover. I'm going to keep it away from my lights. <laughs> if you watch the S2000 video, it didn't work so well. I don't think you're supposed to flip a battery over, but... Perfect. Nice. I moved my bubble around a bunch to paint this thing, paint the gra the, the wash bay, and now it's got a hole in it because it has to have a hole in it because all I, it's freaking running all the time. So I need to figure that out. So this will all come down. All right, so we'll make a nice little V here. Is that how I want that to go? Or would I rather, would I rather pull this up in here? I think I'd rather do that, let's see. Yeah, I like how that looks. Let's just put the lid on and make sure. Yeah, that's clean. Shoot. I hate it when my zip ties.
don't line up. I think a hand tighten will be sufficient, but let's just get it tight just to be safe. Looks like they need to come up with some kind of system for this wire. Okay, let's strap the battery box on. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I think what I might do, I'll just make a pigtail here. Now I have like a little 12 foot extension cord. I can just kind of wrap up. Oh my God, that's hanging there. I think if I tie that up there, there, you got a clean looking solution now. Oh, clean. Yeah, that looks nice. You see what I'm saying? So now we got the wires in here. I could easily disconnect. I've got a little power cord pigtail here so I can plug in to go, you know, for the battery tender, battery charger, battery charger, battery tender. And here's our control switch connection so I don't have any of this wiring in the way. Just for a little added effect, let's clean up the wheels, tires here real quickly. <laughs> a little CarPro Pearl on here. On my, I don't even need to denib these because they don't stick out very much. I bet you the guys never thought when they sent this to me that I'd be putting pearl on the tires. Cool. I like my little my little pigtail idea. So here's the battery tender light. And so I'm gonna, I'm going to the gym, so I'm gonna let it charge so it's not so hot, and then I'll come back and we'll move the thing around. I also put the Allen key, just kind of put it in here in case I ever needed to remove the handle and just set it on top of the battery box. And then uh, over here, let's put a little grease on the trailer ball. Oh, another thing to mention this, you know, we, you, the duty cycle on this is about five minutes, so you don't want the electric motors to overheat. Be back in a couple hours. So what happens when the, when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor. The floor. 